Nigel Paul Farage, UKIP, 16,026. Craig McKinley, the Conservative Party candidate, 18,838. Nigel Farage, the UKIP leader, failing to take the seat of Thanet South. There's the result from South Thanet and Nigel Farage, the leader of UKIP, fails to get elected. In 2015 it took South Thanet until 10.30am the next morning to announce the election results. But in the four preceding elections it was between 3 and 3.30 except for once in 2005 which was declared at 4.44am. Why did it take so long to count the votes in 2015? Another six hours. In South Thanet, the seat Nigel Farage is fighting, there's been an unexpectedly high turnout. The counting was delayed due to the volume of votes. It will be a tense wait for the UKIP leader, who in the past said he would stand down if he did not win the seat. That's not what the evidence shows. In reality, there was only a 5% increase in voter turnout from the previous election five years before in 2010, which is only 3,468 more votes due to the volume of votes. So, we are to believe that in 2005, the most recent close-run South Thanet election, the polls closed at 10pm and took until 4.44am to declare the winner. So, they counted 41,242 votes in 6 hours and 44 minutes. But in 2015, it took them close to another 6 hours to count 8,159 votes. What were they really doing in those 6 hours? UKIP poll watchers reported ballot boxes going missing for hours and then being brought back into the room without explanation. Kent police have received reports of electoral fraud in Thanet South. However, they quickly brushed these aside within a week saying no evidence of electoral fraud had been found. Even though the ballot papers were required to be kept for 30 days, reports were that they were shredded the next morning. In 2019 the Conservative Party HQ official, Marion Little, was found guilty of falsifying election expenses in relation to defeating Nigel Farage in the South Thanet 2015 general election. They spent twice the amount allowed to bring paid activists to South Thanet in order to defeat him. But I believe there was much more than these points alone to consider. This channel will be uploading a deep dive into the South Thanet election in 2015 and asking, did Nigel Farage really lose?